Okay, Eileen. Here is the two cushions um, that we acquired that you you picked from the list. Uh, the stats were looking pretty good, so I didn't see any red flags with what you had picked from the list, so I acquired those two and called them in. And I'll tell you what's what. The diamond on the left is the 71-point FVS2. The diamond on the right is the 71-point GVS2. All right. And both of them modern facet structure cushions. And I have to tell you, these these do come from one of my pretty reliable resources for these. So I'm kind of liking the optics that I'm seeing on these as well. So both of these turn out to be bright stones. Okay. And we're looking at brightness and contrast and any differences in size that you see. Um, here, you're, you're seeing it. Okay, so the FVS2 next to the GVS2. Right. Next we're going to put this in um, weak spotlight and we're going to look at the sparkle in these two. Okay. okay, and then there's your sparkle scintillation in each of these cushions. It's from our tilt angles. Both of them lighten up nice from the tilt angles as well. Okay, I'll bring them into stronger spot lighting. Look at fire. Okay, before I even tilt the diamonds towards the camera, it's just moving the light above the diamonds. And here's as we tilt them towards the eye of the camera. Okay, so in the spotlighting, I do have a slight preference towards one, but uh, I tell you, you can't go wrong in either case here. Both of these stones putting off really nice fire for cushion cut. Okay. <laughs> this should help you do it. Watch the clip one or two more times and uh, just ask yourself which of these diamonds is appealing more to my eye. All right. I wish it was more clear of a choice. Well, if one of them was total garbage, it <laughs> make this comparison easier. But, uh, yeah, nice, nice selection.